Hello, everybody. Dave from Mathagon here, and I'm excited to share with you our Polypad updates for February 2022. Here I am at a blank Polypad canvas, and I'm in the Polygon section. And we have this new tile, which is a custom rectangle. I've just clicked and dragged to add it to the canvas, and I can click and drag this black circle to make any size rectangle that I would like. I'll turn on the grid background and show you that the rectangle can snap to the grid as well. I could have done this before with our custom polygon and make a variety of rectangles, but given that a rectangle is such a popular shape, we thought it might be helpful to have the ability just to draw any variety of custom rectangles that you would like. I'll turn off the grid background and show you our regular polygon. Here is a hexagon. But if I click and drag this black circle, it changes the number of sides of the regular polygon. So I can go all the way from an equilateral triangle to a 16-sided regular polygon. While I'm here, let me point out the features on the action bar. You can see now when I click on a tile, the action bar appears right underneath the tile. But I can also pin it to the bottom of the canvas. So if I click pin action bar, you can see that when I click on each tile, the action bar stays at the bottom. I can unpin it, and then it now appears under each tile. Another new feature that will show up in the action bar under the gear is the ability to not have the handle appear. This black circle is the handle to change the size of the rectangle. I can turn that off, and then the, the handle no longer appears on that polygon. A variety of tiles on Polypad have handles on them, spinners and fraction bars and number tiles. And this option of having the handle appear or not will be there for all tiles on Polypad that have handles on them. So depending on what you want students to do with a tile on the canvas, you can decide whether to have the handle on or off. Let me continue on sharing some of the new updates. I'm going to go to the fraction section. And under fraction bars, we now have the ability to change the label type before you put the fraction bar on the canvas. So there it is with a fraction label. Here's a percent label. Here is a decimal label. And here is no label at all. And those same features are available in the fraction circles. You can have the labels be fractions, percents, decimals, or blank. You also now can change the label on an individual tile on the canvas. So under the gear, there is a drop-down menu that has fractions, percentage, decimal, and none. I'll go back to fractions, and I want to show you that there's now the ability to change the size of the pieces up to 30 seconds. So there are two buttons that say um, that allow you to change the size of the fraction piece. It's now a whole, and I can rename it all the way up to 30 seconds. I'm just continuing to click on rename, and it'll get me up to 30 seconds. And then I can go back, maybe I'll stop at 20ths. And then there's this black triangle that will change the amount of shading on this fraction bar. The black tab changes the size of the fraction bar. I can split them up and then move the individual pieces around as I like. So those are the updates to fractions. Let me go back to the geometry section under utensils, show you a quick update that we've made to the ruler. I'll put the ruler on the canvas here. And now there's the option to have the ruler appear in inches, in centimeters, or both. So that's a nice feature on the ruler. I'll scroll down to probability and data. And under polyhedral dice, we have added a 10-sided dice to go with the 12-sided dice and the 20-sided dice. Now we have um, a 10-sided dice as well as four, six, and eight. We've heard from a lot of teachers asking for um, a 10-sided dice, so we're happy to have that available. Continuing on here, I want to show you that we have a new help option on the toolbar on the right. So if I click on help, there is a window that appears that takes you to the in-depth tutorials on a variety of the tile types in Polypad. And if you just click on help and tutorials, it'll take you to mathagon.org slash pd. If you are new to Mathagon, you might want to check out one of our Getting Started pages. Maybe you're a fourth grade teacher. This page might be helpful just to give you an overview of everything available on, um, on Polypad. And here on our PD page are all of the user guides, past webinars, short video tutorials, and so on. Let me go back to the canvas I was on. 
One last thing to show you is our new ability to really create a custom canvas depending on the task that you are doing with students. So I'm going to click on the tools here and there's the ability to turn on and off a variety of features and tiles based on what you're doing with students. So here you can see in the tile menu, there's a whole host of tile types. One option here is just uh, is the ability to choose which tiles you want to appear for students. So I'll go to toggle all under sidebar. This is the sidebar and I'm just going to click polygons. And you'll notice when I click save, this window is going to go away and the only tile type that's going to appear are the polygons. So as I open geometry, just polygons, nothing else here. If I close that, no other tile types are available. There's another video that you can watch that is really a, an in-depth explanation and overview of all of the options here. I'll just show you that if I toggle this back on and click save, now you can see all of the tile types. We've also added a number of features to our construction tools. We've added a rectangle, an, uh, uh, an angle tool, and there's a variety of ways to measure things about the, the, the geometric constructions that you make, the area, the length, the, the angle measurement. So there's another video that provides a really in-depth overview of all the updates to our construction tools. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you give uh, get a quick overview of all of the new features we added to Polypad in February 2022.